Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about the Atlas of Us. Atlas's dad died of cancer. Don't worry, that isn't a spoiler. It is what kicks her off on her trek. Troubled Atlas is forced to participate in a community service program, rehabbing hiking trails along the Western Sierra mountains. She's paired up with four other people. Real names are not allowed to be used. So to them, she's known as Maps. Follow her as she decides on what path to take. So this book had me feeling all sorts of emotions. So the first one of feeling of nostalgia, uh, the happy summer camp vibes that this book has, but also dealing with uh, sadness, grief, and depression. I thought the author did a great job um, showing the characters how they build their wall up, um, showing their vulnerability or not wanting to show their vulnerability, and um, shutting people out. So I thought she did a great job kind of showing different characters and how they deal with their uh, issues. Um, the next one is feeling prideful of being a Californian. So this book is set in California. So the author mentions about in and out and the importance of fire safety. So uh, there's a quote in the book that says, um, there's a code. Hikers respect nature and respect each other. He says with a shrug. People that do this are good humans. You can tell who belongs here and who doesn't. So um, I like that quote just reminding us of how we should act on the trail if we do hike and that we should be good stewards of the earth and taking care of the earth because that's our responsibility. The next one is I felt maps uh, sadness and grief whenever she mentions about her dad and I didn't get the annoyance feeling like, oh my gosh, why is she always mentioning her dad? You know, because sometimes, you know, you, you feel that way, but I don't feel that way at all when she talks about her dad's memory. Again, I think the author did a great job kind of weaving in her dad into the story and the memories of, and of places that remind her of her dad. And whenever that happens, I love her dad's like wisdom um whenever he like speaks to her it's always coming from the heart and he has really good sayings and so um i wanted to share some of the quotes uh, that he has so one of the quotes was um don't be sorry be better and another quote uh from the book is kind of summarizing here but um he he has this silver suitcase that he has so he says whenever he looks at the suitcase, it reminds him of the time he said yes. And I like that because um, life is short and you don't even have to go on crazy adventures, right? You can even go on local adventures here, but life is short. So definitely get out there, enjoy yourself. Some annoyances in the book that I have. So there's this character called Sugar. She's a part of the group and um sometimes i think her outbursts she just needs to think about her outbursts because sometimes people can take it the wrong way so there's a part in the book where the hiking leader of the group assigned her to carry uh the cooking supplies and the food and the hiking leader is carrying um the saw and other things and so when he said that to her her outburst was oh is it because i'm a woman i feel like she doesn't know this person and so for her to just kind of blurt that out i think that she is it can cause uh tension in the group because i feel like if let's say kind of speaking devil's advocate here if the hiking leader assigned her to carry the saw and other things would she have thought the same oh is it because i'm a woman you think I can't carry heavy stuff, for example, you know what I mean? And so I just think that some of Sugar's outbursts, I think she needs to think before she says things because one, sometimes when you blurt things out, when you don't know the other person, it could come off the wrong way. The um, other thing that kind of annoyed me, that w there was something that happened in the book that I thought was maybe out of place, but then at the same time, maybe wasn't out of place, but I thought it was out of place because I thought that the group was making good progress and I felt like this little incident was like a setback slash something that could have been solved very easily, but it was like blown out of proportion. So I thought it was a little bit annoying for me that way.
or that scene right there. I would have to say this book, I am a sucker for a lot of their cutesy romance scenes in this book. Um, I like the texting between the characters and their dialogue there. And then also uh, in some of their romantic flirty scenes, I loved it. You know, some books they're so vulgar or too much detail. And this one I think was just, just enough detail. Um, wasn't too vulgar so and I thought the dialogue was really good too because again some some flirty dialogue and romance can be so cringy and I definitely did not feel this way about this book so thumbs up for me with the romance scenes here my favorite character is Pigeon so she isn't a part of the maps group she's a part of a different group and um, she has like this deep conversation with maps and you know i like that she's just real with herself and real with other people around her so even though she's known as pigeon in this program i felt like this is how she's like in the real world too so just by the way she like gives advice and how she acts uh so i like pigeon yeah it's my favorite character in this book here a con um I didn't have any cons, but I guess for other people, the con might be like, oh, you know, I'm not really interested in reading young adults or teen type books, so they kind of stay away. So I get it, you know, that would be a con if you're not really interested in these type of genres. And of course, you're not, you might not be open to reading this book. But for me, loved it, would recommend it to you. And I feel like the overall theme of this book, in my opinion, is, uh, so I'm quoting the title of a K-drama is, um, it's okay to be not okay and i love seeing different ways and non-conventional ways of people dealing with their issues like always please let me know your thoughts did you like the book did you like the book who was your favorite character please comment rate share uh please comment rate share and subscribe happy reading